welcome to Jerry Bear React. Today, we're going to react to Season 2, Episode 16 of Shadowhunters, entitled Day of Atonement. If you're new here, feel free to subscribe for daily content. If there's a day, there's a reaction. Links will be in the description box down below for the Patreon, the Twitch stream, and everything in between. And Jerry, who lost his crown, will do his best work behind the scenes in just a few seconds. There's a lemon head soaking in here. Uh, last episode... Last episode was really good. Uh, we got more of this... Sebastian character, including the reveal that it's uh, Valentine's actual son. We get more of a revelation from Magnus about how the torture is affecting him. And uh, a couple good things from characters all the way around. Obviously, we had the whole mishap with the, the fake-out murder thing with Simon. Uh, but the big thing, Simon telling Claire that he needed space. And she said, I'll be there for you always so now we have to wait and see if she actually stays true to that and we can hop into day of atonement by putting jerry behind the scenes and we can just dive on in you have spent years clinging to my memories of freedom fire imagining what i'd feel when i finally made it back would i be happy angry hard as i try i could never quite picture it boy did you rise from hell or, 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 they did say that that was, you know, uh, Jocelyn had a child that, that died in the fire. I was going to say for a second, maybe it's Lucifer because they had the Morgan Stern, was another word for Morning Star, this, that, and the other. It looks like they're just coming back from the depths of hell. It still said Sebastian in the subtitles. That could just be a placeholder, though. In the end, I felt nothing. Just the unforgiving cold of the winter air. You made me what I am, Father. Everything you did to me created this. And now it's my turn to repay the favor. Cue the intro music. I'm just going to start cutting it right there for YouTube. So we're coming. That is important. Make sure your partner comes first. Men. Not gonna lie, a little lackluster intro, no biggie. Not the not the music, but the uh, the before scene. It's crazy. I was trying to pause on his face, but that version of him as the burnt hot dog, he looks like early seasons Lucifer from the show Lucifer, right? When he was all burnt up and shit when he showed his true face. Well, they said brat rentals. You don't want to rent a brat where you just want to eat it. We got Maya going to check on Simmons, Simonias. That boy about the Dennis Rodman this shit. Anybody dead? Anything you do is mope around in the dark. And again, imagine if just right there she pulls it over. <laughs> he just fucking catches on. You just need something to clear your head. Like a new girlfriend. Uh, I don't mean that at all. By the way, I'm just I'm just bullshitting because I like Maya a lot. Uh, I. Oh man, I had a, I had a point to something right there, and it is it is gone. Yeah, it's another thing too, bro. You're literally a daylighter. Your whole thing about being away from your mom. What is up with that whole situation? Like your mom called the doctors. Did did am I missing something? Did Raphael mind wipe her? Is that what happened? I I cannot remember for the life of me right now. I feel like that's what happened, or at least it kind of started to happen, but then it cut. Otherwise, like that's a, that's a big hole for me. Damn. This one's gonna say you like you're literally a daylighter. Like go spend time with your family, bro. Like you can go have that life now if you wanted to, kind of, sort of. But then again, like somebody mentioned in the comments, it is fucking weird. Your narc ass sister comes in and is just like, this is real blood. Like who the fuck? Who raised you? Maya's a real friend. Cause put yourself in that real life situation. Just going to your friend's house for a couple minutes just to check on them. Like, obviously, it's doable. Like, it feels like it makes more sense in the reality of, like, a show or movie world for some reason compared to real life. Like, if you're like, damn, my buddy's down and out. You go over there for two minutes, and he just, like, walks out and leaves you there in their place alone. And you're just like, do I lock the door on the way out? Like, where did he go? Obviously, check on your friends. Go go see them if they're doing bad. That's not what I'm saying. It's just that particular scenario right there. I don't know. Just a, just a weird thought process, I guess, in my brain. Always check on your homies. Matter of fact, pick up your phone. Call somebody you haven't talked to in the last couple months. 
like, hey, just checking on you. Or just shoot them a text message if you don't like talking to people on the phone. And just say, hey, just checking in. Let you know I love you. I hope you have a good day. Or however you want to spin that. I promise that shit goes miles. Miles and miles and miles. I keep walking out of a room every time I walk in. I haven't. Yeah, you have. Probably because you're making her fucking hormone look, spike. I get it, but we can't avoid each other forever. Chase, I was the one in charge of the transfer team. We both were. I don't think it's look, Alec, you are anybody's fault leader. here Can't other than Duncan. fire you over something you didn't do. Alec will do as he's ordered. Oh, it's his father Dad? right there. What are you doing? Damn, I thought they fired Buddy. I just didn't think they had a payroll for him. Here. I'm the Clave's envoy. Allowing Valentine's escape was a lapse in leadership, but our top priority is tracking him down. How does that fall on the leadership, though? Somebody planned something on the inside to do that? Like, how does that fall on Alec at all? Like, he was not aware of it. You can try to spin that he's the leader. should be aware of all because that's... Mm, you know. But I bet you we find more in that cabin than we do in Staten Island. Jace, you need to tell someone. For us when I was a kid. You really think Valentine's in Staten Island? No, but I'm pretty sure the Clave has interest covered. Not if they're looking in the wrong place. Valentine used to take him to this cabin. So Valentine still raised him? All other stuff was real. Like, he actually raised him. It just wasn't his father. The whole time I'm under the impression, like, this dude just gaslit him into thinking all these different things. It's like, it gaslit his whole childhood, but some other guy was his father that died, blah, blah, blah. So that it was Valentine. Okay. Hmm. What if we don't need a warlock? What are you talking about? Oh. Welcome to the Disney Channel. What are you doing here? Well, how is her? That's impossible. The news today. Y'all pushing it to a random port. Look at you now. 20 feet underwater. Swimming like Mario. <laughs> oh, y'all are in Idrissimo. This is good, because they've been talking about Idris this whole entire time, and it's, we finally get to see something. Then why keep the Verilac boy's visage if you're weaker for it? Mm -hmm. I think it rather suits me. I think it does too, but are, are, you, are you Jonathan Carpenter, or whatever the fuck his name was? A bit I, more charming I than see. a demonic beast with burnt flesh. So your accent's based on who you're taking over? I guess that makes sense, the full body glamour. Never mind. It's not like the Harry Potter spell or nothing. John, for the polyjuice. I know what I did to you was horrific, but let me make it up to you. Hey, I mean, we don't even need a cell. You can activate your rooms without them, right? Yeah, I mean, you know, theoretically. And you were giving me crap about my portal. I I do it. Look at our magical powers together. Oh my God, Jade. Wait, I'm weak again. I can't think right now. My Stella might actually come in handy. Yeah, we should probably double back to the we water. We should head back to the lake and see if we can find it. Yeah, with our nice dried product hair. Really appreciate the offer, but Yom Kippur is this, not a look at this outfit this boy got on. Kind of holiday. Why the I fuck ain't asking. it? Yeah, now she going with you, bro. A little date, date. I, mean, I, I didn't even tell my family I was dating Clary. And how would I explain this? Hey, mom, meet Maya, my werewolf friend who knows I turned a guy into dust, and now she's kind of worried that I might hurt you or tell you I'm a vampire or. Hey, okay, look. Just let me come with you. Take your friend with you, dude. I'm so conflicted and such a hypocrite because, like, as much as I want this to happen right here, because I feel like Maya is a better fit for him than Clary. Just. In general, I mean, they had Maya hook up with Jace, which was weird. Does he know that? Because I feel like they may get close and Jace will be like, look at you, always going after my exes. Or not really exes, but blah, 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 blah. But not even that, dude. Not even fucking that. It's just like, I know that Simon, his whole relationship and feelings with Clary, like, I know that he would prefer that. So now if I think about the actual character itself, and his whole life, I'd rather see him with Clary. And I don't want this to develop further. But then the other part of me wants me to watch him and Maya 
blossom. Hi, I'm Maya. Huh, Simon's girlfriend. Wow, she dropped that right on the table. Oh, I thought grandma about to be pissed because she she old white. <laughs> as long as that <laughs> oh, but apologize to Max. Mm. I don't care what the fire messages said. I know you're still upset about the whole affair, but think about it. By the angel. By the angel takes me out every time. That just makes me want just want to cackle like a little girl. What the hell? <laughs> That's pretty cool. Is that a lake? Hey, don't think That's really cool. How? Why wouldn't y'all walk together back to the same location? Jace! <laughs> you like me this way! So you he likes hot shit. He likes, he likes being burned, I think, at this point. That's his little kink. I hear. He had a bit of a phobia of jellyfish. I was five years old. <laughs> Somebody uh, to pee on him if he gets stuck. <laughs> Bobby, I was five. Okay, enough. Yeah, the two yeah, of you. defensive, defensive, bro. It's just a little jellyfish. No, I think it's time for our Yom Kippur tradition, where we share what it is we're atoning for. Mom, come on, that's not that's not really a thing. I mean, like, that's like should be private. That's like a Thanksgiving thing. Where you say what you're most grateful for. Who's next? Just say you've, you've been distant from the family and you regret it, blah, blah, blah. I don't know these things. Just do that, bro. Spin it to your advantage. I'm telling you, bro, I like, I like Simon and Maya together. I don't know how to act sometimes. That was cute as shit. That was cute. I don't even know why. I just I just enjoy them both. They look anyway. We need to help them. You have to get that portal approved. I'll try my best. But the clave... I don't care what the clave says. Same, bro. Jason's in trouble. Yo. I agree. As long as you're acting head of this institute, you need to remain here. Jace is fa one eight hundred Magnus. Uh, what's up? Hey, Max. Do you want to like make me a portal or something so we can like go help my parapetai? That's simple. You can't expect Alec to abandon his parapetai. <sighs> Just tell me where he is. Gone. He ain't talking about. Ethereal. Jace. Come on, Jonathan. Oh, J Dog. So who's next? Simon? That food does look fire though, bro, but there's so much corn left in that pot. I don't think you're really eating like Actually, you're supposed to. I yeah, they're not real eaters in this family, you could tell. I'd like to go. I see salt and pepper. Because being around your family makes me realize that maybe I haven't been the world's greatest daughter. Did you smoke weed? Bro, her ass gets on my last fucking nerve. So what'd you do? What was it? Was it the blood? Shut, shut the fuck up, bro. I got us tickets to go to a Blade Runner marathon and he ditched me for another girl. <gasps> what a save, dude. What a fucking save. Plus 10 points for Maya. <laughs> I really did just write a, a plus 10 on my on my notepad for no reason there's no point system remember my eighth birthday oh bitch we don't remember your eighth it was the birthday. day you gave me my first serif blade I was so excited to use it what's the age difference here like what's really going on how old is he compared to Jace did he raise him and Jace I snuck out of the cabin. Ah, damn, that was a dark cut. Deep cut, not dark. I just, I don't know. Barry? Who are you? It's me, Jace, 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 Jace. I don't know you. So you're confused. To help you. Just hold still. She's got a blade. She's gonna smack it shit away and try to. It's right here next to me, dummy. 
Kung Fu fighting. Back kick, super kick. Spin around. No, block that. No, got you on your knees. Oh, grab this. Oh, got you in a full Nelson. Oh, there's a kick. Two kicks. Double kick like fucking Look, Anita ran before you fight Brock. You're not gonna get the chance. Hey, stop. Black, black. Oh, I got you in my arm. Okay. The one thing that'll that'll help her calm down is true love's kiss. Ah, you activated her little riblets. I thought she was about to end up licking her earlobe or something. She's gonna be like, oh, okay. God, it's you. It's me and you together in each other's arms. Fuck, I'm so conflicted. James, is that you? Yeah, it's me. You're okay. I don't like the way she was looking at him. You're out here telling Simon always. Remember, then again, Simon told her, again, I'm, I'm going to keep saying it. You're not a booty call. You said always. You're a bunch of lying ass people. I cannot repeat this secret to anyone. Not Inbound secret. Mm, it's going straight to Magnus. I promise. I promise that. Mm. How do you trust me to be a leader or you don't? I like that. Trust me or don't, bitch. Go ahead and tell me. That's not your kid, by the way, bro. I just want you to know it. Clave lied about the soul sword. Oh, I could have told you that. They never recovered it from Valentine's attack on the Institute. They don't have it. They never did. Then who does? Oh, I bet you'd love to get. Oh wow! Guess who fucking has it? It's Seabass 2.0. It's fucking J Dog over here. As soon as he walked away with it, it's like it looks like Sebastian carrying the sword. I never cared about your mortal instruments. Yet I possess one. Get your hands on your precious soul sword now. That was the field of Shut up! <laughs> compels the truth. Jonathan, not a day goes by that I don't think about you. Where I am not haunted by that decision I made to send you to Edom. I have always dreamed of creating the ultimate warrior. And now that dream is reality. You already made the ultimate warrior with Jace, though. That's not really the right cadence, but the music's in my head. I just can't get it out. You have always been my greatest creation, son. And Got him conflicted, bro. It's something I think I think his ass can lie holding that sword sometimes. I don't know why. I just get that feeling that he can. That maybe that's just a me thing. I'm not quite sure. Into this cab. You could probably smell the smoke. Yeah, the fire was just lit. You gotta have something going on. Yep, there's some little, yeah, there's some little ash moving chains. It's too late to apologize. Clary came and Clary went. Now you got Maya back at the fucking kayak shack, bro. Go ahead, do it to it one time for the one time. A little chocolate vanilla swirl. Nice little smooch on the cheek right there, bro, for Maya. Good night, Simon. Yeah, give him a little kiss. Yeah, 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 yeah. Simon, think about that, bro. You really have to think about... Mm-hmm. I mean, y'all right across the street from each other. It's like being in dorm rooms on opposite sides. Even if Des now. Mm-hmm. Two Jonathan Christophers. You were... You were opposite ends of the same experiment? There are hundreds of... Angel blood, demon blood, Herondale. So Herondale is his true identity, apparently. And then Christopher, or the, the other one, they just... So he, he named him after his other son? Is that... And that became the Jace thing. Pages of notes, years worth of research. These. Unless he wasn't. Oh my God. Jonathan is alive. That wasn't. Thuriel wasn't talking about you. Winner. He was talking about my brother. Cue the fucking black screen with the producers and shit on it. He's still alive. You're. Jonathan. Father. Yes, Papa. It's a little devilish smirk. Be -be 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 -be. 
drinking wine with your food is not good. I don't I don't know where that came from, but it's it's just no sir re Bobo. Day of Atonement after Valentine's transfer goes awry. Alec fears his leadership will be called into question by his visiting father. That's the longest one yet. Clary and Jace go to an unsanctioned mission whilst Maya helps Simon with his Yom Kippur family dinner. That is our 16th episode. Reflect here on some of the notes. It's helping my brain as I got, we got so much shit going on, bro. So we got to take a little whole little note section. Um, love it off, off the rip, bro. Uh, first of all, let me, let me say this. Let me say this because a lot of people click away at this point. Uh, zero. I have zero interest in Frank. And to be honest, now with the reveal of who Sebastian really is, I have zero interest in Jonathan Seabass, J Dog. I'm gonna give it time to grow on me, but right now I just I have no interest. But Maya checking in on Simon, cute as shit, right? Calls herself her his girlfriend at the family dinner, does her atonement stuff, talks about what she's doing with her extracurricular time and going back into school and college and talking about the the Blade Runner set and his getting left for another girl and this that and the other. It's all really good stuff. Her opening up about her life, about being a bad daughter and everything else in front of strangers just to help out Simon. Plus 100 points. I said it. That's who he should be with. I know Clary's his lifelong in-game in goal, man, but you got to let her ass hurdle on back to JAC. You go ahead and focus on Maya and go about your business. Okay? A vampire and werewolf together? Are you fucking kidding me? Just let, let's Let's just do that. Uh, I'm assuming Raphael cleared Mama Simon's memories. Again, I can't remember. Uh, Alex's dad from the Envoy. Again, I really don't care about his dad. Uh, Valentine raising Jace. They cleared that up at the end because if one burned alive, right? How is he still experimenting? I think we need more information on that timeline in general. Uh, Clary just, she summoned the three portals that she's found. was the solar. She has the deactivation for the soul sword. And then she was able to summon portals. So she kind of has like this total package of this this pure angel power, whilst Jace could just activate his runes at at will without a stalay. Now on the opposite end, he was able to cuddle her up and activate her rune through his eyeballs while her while holding her, which was also very intimate. I just put that out there. Uh, finally, an interest for a little bit. We don't get to see much of it, but we're finally there. It's like getting to Asgard, right? Just want to know more about it or Olympus or or any of those locations. The Angel Lake was pretty cool. The Angel coming down, giving the information about Jonathan being alive. Uh, and the Soul Sword, like we mentioned, we, we knew that they were lying about it. We knew that they didn't have it. They was bullshitting the whole time. It's in the hands of J-Dog, and he has it. And, you know, I, I think I think the Valentine can lie a little bit or, like, spin the truth. Like they said, after years of practice, even the Seelies are able to manipulate the truth and not be able to lie. I think he can do the same thing the way that he talked to Jace and now Jonathan, Sebastian, S Sebastian, Sebastian, John, Johnston, Sebastian, Sebastian, uh, as he was able to tell him, you know, I think about you every day. I love you. This, that, and the other. Well, well, you got yourself safe from going to eat him. You now have the soul sword. And I think he's just going to manipulate his son now that he's back and fucking twist and turn and do the whole goddamn thing. Clary knows her brother's out there. Um, Alec is still the head of the Institute. No Magnus at all this episode. <laughs> That's what I say. <laughs> uh, when I wanted to stick with Sebastian or wanted to stick in Idris, we cut the other things I wasn't as interested in that were enjoyable to watch, but it just wasn't. I wanted to stick with other things. But this is a solid episode. I don't think it's going to end up on any list, but it, it gives us the exposition and it helps move it forward a little bit more than some of the previous episodes. It's just been immediate conflict and resolution while that does happen here it feels like it's setting the stage for bigger things because we only have 17 18 19 and 20 left four episodes um here in season two so is is valentine still our end all be all does jonathan now take a role of being like a pseudo boss like is he going to take over for there's just a lot of pieces of the puzzle how much can we trust frank um Where's Alder Tree? I know he's in Idris, but like, is he going to come back at any point? I don't think Azazel's gone for good. I think it'd be weird if it if it was. They said it's not a permanent banishment. 
but with with how deep and layered Magnus's backstory is becoming, I, I wanted to kind of stay there a little bit in this episode. But everything we got was good. Um, Soul Sword, we know where it's at. Obviously, Dipshit knows Valentine knows where the Mortal Cup is, and uh, the only thing they have to look for is the Mortal Mirror. So maybe we look for that in the next four episodes. We save that for season three. But either way, good one. A uh, good one. Not too much excitement at the end of it. That happens sometimes. Uh, last couple episodes have been really, really spectacular, and this one's just like we got good stuff, but it's not, it's not mind blowing, I guess. So a dark or wait, that's the next episode. Day of Atonement is what we just watched. Season two, episode seventeen is entitled "A Dark Reflection." I'll see you there on Monday. As always, links and everything will be in the description box down below. Playlist will be up on screen. Stay cute, stay hydrated, and I will catch you on the next one.